welcome to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. Myself Narendra and today I am here to describe and demonstrate about the process control trainer. The process control trainer explores the fundamental concepts of water level measurement and control using different level transducers. We will see how different types of sensors work in the water level measurement and control system. Initially we have a sturdy frame with a bench top mount workstation which has four wheels which we can move according to our needs and requirements. Uh, then we have a sump tank, a water pump, a measuring tank and a stirrer to stir the water. In the process control trainer we have one phase power supply panel, digital control meter panel, input output panel 1, input output panel 2, DAQ panel and sensor panel. I will show you the complete brief description about each panel one by one in the video. So beginning with the description, first I will show you one phase power supply panel. It has 230 volts 50 hertz AC input socket with three pins and it has a pilot lamp for power LED indicate indication and a two pole 230 volt 10 ampere miniature circuit breaker. It also has a mushroom emergency stop switch which can be used to stop the power and it has a bidirectional multifunction meter which can measure voltage, ampere, hertz, power factor, kVA, kilowatt, kilowatt hour. Different types of works can be done by the multifunction meter. Then we have a digital control meter panel. It has a PC interface socket and 230 volt AC supply plus 24 volt DC supply. It has a PID controller also which has dual display 4 digit 7 segment LED panel. It has 4 to 20 milliampere input controlled device. Types of sensors which, which are controlled by the PID controller are KC thermocouple, RTD 100 and capacitive sensors. Coming to the next one we have input output panel 1. It has a start and stop button for switch input, pump and valve button. This is a solenoid valve button and it has same 2, 230 volt, 50 hertz AC and 24 plus 24 volts DC power supply. The pump is controlled by the contactor 1 which is given here and the valve, solenoid valve is controlled by contactor 2 which is given here. Then we have the indicator output of the pump control and an alarm with a buzzer then we have the indicator output of pump and the solenoid wall. Coming to the input output panel 2, we have a SSR relay for the heater control and a heater in output indicator pilot lamp. We have the stirrer switch which can be controlled by pushing it and same we have 230 volts AC and plus 24 volt DC supply. Next we have the DAQ panel which has 230 volt 50 hertz AC supply and plus 24 volt DC supply. It has a PC interface socket having RJ45 Ethernet port. It also has 8 digital input panel, 8 digital inputs and 8 digital outputs. It has 8 analog inputs and 2 analog outputs. Next we have the sensor panel. It has 230 volt AC 50 hertz and plus 24 volt DC input supply. It has the socket facility to connect capacitive sensor and the socket facility to connect K type thermocouple sensor which is here and a socket facility to connect RTD PT100 resistive temperature detector sensor. Now coming to the bottom part we have a sump tank, a water pump and some hand walls. It has five hand walls and there we, you can see it's a solenoid wall. Moving upwards we have this is the measuring tank and it has a level indicator of the water level. It also has a KTC sensor, PT100 sensor, a stirrer to stir the water and a level sensor. So along with the kit we also provide some 
tools and a user manual which which is very easy to operate the kit provide a serial to vga to serial usb cable some connecting wires and ethernet cable and a vga to vga cable so coming to the experiment part we have the experiment to study the temperature control of water using daq system a software and a pc in this and these are the input output panel wiring which we have to do apart from the fixed wiring so i will get back to you after doing these wiring after doing the connections given as per the manual we have to make sure the hand wall 1 3 and 5 are off and the hand wall 2 and 4 should be on then we have to go to the control panel control panel then internet and network then on the network and sharing center and we can see ethernet here we have to click on it then we have to go its properties then we have to go in the tcp ipv internet protocol version 4 and click on properties then we have to write these values which are also given in the manual 192.168.1.4 it's the ip address subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 default gateway is 192.168.1.1 then click on okay the dialog box will appear you have to select yes then close then again close then we have to close this then we have to open the software provided by us this is the process trainer we have to open it it will take some time so please be patient after providing the input powering on the machine or the process control trainer we have to initially start the pump and fill the measuring tank till 3/4 3/4 level so you can see it is filling and you can see the sound after filling we have to stop it you can see the green indicator that it started and we have to stop it after filling we have to just set the values from the settings they should be the same you can refer on the screen then we have to set the values which will be temperature 40 degrees which is the set temperature sensor is pt rtd pt 100 and the rest should be same water level is 100 then after doing the settings you have to observe on the given screen and we also have a graph moving with the with temperature with respect to time so uh, also one thing we have to keep in mind that if we start the process from the software that is from here then we have to stop it from here only and if we start from the switch input start button, then we have to stop it from that only that is the input output panel one so we can start now we have started and you can see the green signal of the process started and an alarm was buzzed for a period of time the measured value in the tank is 30.169 degrees celsius and the set value is 40 degree so we have to wait it reaches its destination you can see it's changing the measured value from rtd pt 100 is changing it's increasing and also from the thermocouple it's also changing we have to wait for the further process here you, you can see the graph which is plotting with respect to time and temperature after its completion it will be shown a full graph and we we can save the readings also 
you can see the temperature is rising with respect to time when we have started it was around 29 degrees celsius and now in the reading of the rtd pt100 it's giving 31 degrees celsius so i will just pause the video and come back to you till it's about to reach the destination so that the video do not become longer so these are the values after 5 minutes of the process the temperature has reached to 35 degrees celsius from 29 degrees celsius as you can see the graph also and you can also see the status on the hardware where the things which are running should should show the indicator output from the pilot button of led so i will again pause the video and will reach back to you at the end of it so we are about to reach to 40 degrees celsius right now it's showing 38.187 degrees celsius so now it will try to maintain the temperature while reaching the 40 degrees celsius mark the stirrer the heater are working continuously as you can see from this green indications and the process is also running which can be seen from the process status indicator which is green as it's reaching close to its set value it will try to maintain the set temperature we can observe the graph between temperature versus time which is a linear graph the temperature is very close to 40 degree celsius mark so it will now gradually move it and will maintain the temperature at 40 degree to stop the process after reaching the 40 degree mark we will press the stop button and an alarm uh, the buzzer for 10 seconds will blow and the process will stop after that we can take the readings in the form of excel sheets we can also use the solenoid valve to for the outlet of the water from measuring tank to the sump tank during the process so now it's just reached its final destination so we have to stop the process and as i said a buzzer will blow after pressing the stop button now you can see the you can hear the voice alarm indicator so the process is stopped and you can see the corresponding graph now we will click on three dots and click on export for our readings we can name them readings process control trainer pct and save it anywhere we need so we save this after doing it we can close the 
we can minimize it and close the folder as we saved the readings on the desktop so we can open it and these this column shows the date and time of the reading so we can see the reading at 17th fab 2023 at 3:10 pm was 32.11 degrees celsius on the uh, rtd pt sensor and 30 degrees celsius on the thermocouple and at the end of the process we can see the reading on 3:22 pm that is 39.26 degrees celsius so that's it from the software part so these were the connection we made before connecting our laptop the connections were made as per the manual you can refer manual for this and the laptop showed that result as you can see we have connected the LAN cable through the ethernet port from here and we get the result on the laptop so beginning with our next experiment which is to study the temperature control of water using PID controller on completion of this experiment we understand the working of PID controller and its application controlling the temperature process system We have done the connections as per given in the manual which is also showing on the screen. So after doing the connections we will turn on the power supply. Before turning on the power supply we have to keep in mind that the hand valve 1, 3 and 5 are off and the hand valve 2 and 4 should be on. Uh, you, turning on the power supply turning on the power supply with the MCB and we can see the stirrer is on along with the heater you can see the stirrer output from here the stirrer is running and the current and the current temperature is shown in 38.4 degree 38.4 uh, percentage and we have set the temperature to 50 percent so the PID controller will instruct the heater and control the temperature and will try to set it to the 50% mark. As you can see the temperature increased to 38.6 to 38.7% and now 38.8%. So gradually it will increase till it comes to the mark of 50% temperature. So after uh, noting the after observing the readings, you can plot the graph uh, along with the observation table, which is also given in the user manual provided by us. So I will pause the video for the time being and will come back to you after. Uh, when we uh, are about to reach the temperature mark so as you can see now the temperature has reached to 47.8 percentage I am again pausing the video and we will get back to you again the temperature will in increase depending on the set value and it will increase and after reaching close to the set value it will try to maintain the set temperature we can also do the same experiment with the thermocouple sensor which is provided here the whole process with the RTD sensor works on 4 to 20 milli ampere input according to the PID controller we will note down the readings of the actual temperature with respect to time and will plot a graph 
द स्टीर वर्क फॉर द मिक्सिंग ऑफ हॉट एंड कोल्ड वाटर टू कीप द वाटर टेम्परेचर इवन इन द मेजरिंग टैंक एंड वेन द मेजर टेम्परेचर इज लेस दैन द सेट टेम्परेचर द हीटर विल हीट द वाटर एंड आफ्टर रीचिंग क्लोज टू द सेट टेम्परेचर इट विल स्टॉप एंड ट्राई टू मेनटेन द सेट टेम्परेचर सो इट्स अबाउट टू रीच द सेट टेम्परेचर एंड इट्स रीच द सेट टेम्परेचर सो इट हैज स्टॉप्ड एंड टर्न ऑफ so that's all for the process control trainer using the pid controller and we have also discussed the process control trainer with the daq panel experiment you can find all the details and helpful items in the manual which we are providing like this so that's all so this was all about the process control trainer we have done the experiments from the daq and pid controller and if you find any difficulties regarding the experiments and you can also learn about the all the sensors and the components used from the user manual which we are providing uh, any doubts and brief description of all the components used in the process control trainer are given in the user manual and if you still have any doubts and difficulties regarding doing the experiments or studying the several type of sensors you can contact to tesca technologies private limited and if you like the video and find it helpful and knowledgeable then please do subscribe like and comment thank you